Hi, Entropians. It's me, Mikhail, and I wanted to talk today, while I'm on Arcadia, very early in the morning, um, about what crafters are looking for in the auction and also why small stacks don't work in the auction. Now, I forgive, like, okay, sorry. I have a little bit of a scratchy voice today, so I'm sorry. I drank way too much yesterday. <laughs> I'm a little hungover. And so anyway, so early morning is a good crafting time for me normally. Like if I'm going to craft anything, I try to do it before 10 a.m. my time because I just feel like my avatar has better success rates at that time. So this morning I was looking through my list and I said, oh, I need some resource extractors RE104 because I sold a few out of my shop and I need to replace them. I don't have any in my storage. So I went and I put a filter in. I was looking for all my resource extractors. And here is the resource extractor blueprint. And as you can see, I am not able to craft this right now because I don't have any dianum ingots and I don't have any garzen lubricant. Now, some people would say, well, then go out there and mine for it because it's more cost effective. In my case, that is not true because I suck at mining. <laughs> I can go out there and drop 200 bombs somewhere where my friend says, oh, I get that all the time right there. And I go right there and I drop them 200 bombs. I get nothing. Or I get cumbrits. <laughs> I get a lot of cumbrits. Or... So I find that it's easier for me to look to the auction or to other players for help. Now, because it's so early in my time, I don't like to go through my list because I'm a little crispy early in the morning, I'm not going to lie, so I don't really like to interact with people. That being said, I go to the auctions. Ooh, coffee, so good. And the first thing I'm looking for, let's just, um, ah, uh, was it the Diana I'm get? Anyway, I click my auction button and I go, oh. Now, there's no Dianum ingot on Arcadia, so I'm going to have to look to a different planet. Let's see about Garson Lubricant. Oh, look, there are two. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This person has 6 ped TT of Garson Lubricant. He puts the, bet, the bidding at 166%. That's a kind of a nice profit. I mean... He still has an auction fee he paid. When I buy, I pay an auction fee, so my dark really makes out. However, I would never pay 166% because when I look at the markup, even on the day it's only 111 and on the month it's 107. Why the hell would I pay 50% more? Not happening. Then I look at this other one, 120%. Mm, Maybe if I was super desperate, maybe if the auctions weren't globalized for the whole universe, because guess what, people? You might get some stupid people to buy these. You might. But people like me are going to go, well, let's look at Calypso auction. Oh, my gosh, look at that. 102%. Now, that's a deal. Do I need 200 pet of it? No. I wish that person luck. I'm really looking for, because I only need 6 Garson lubricants to craft one of these. So really I'm looking with fail rates and stuff. I'm looking for around 30 quantity and as you can see the quantities are much higher here and it really depends on the deal because like I said the market value I don't want to pay <clears throat> really any more than 107 percent is really what I'm looking for because I price my items around the month so I try to buy around the month. And maybe that doesn't help. Maybe that doesn't make sense. But that's what I do. So I'm shooting for 107% or less. And I'm shooting for something reasonable. Because I have 400 ped on my account balance. And I might need to buy other stuff. So I got to kind of be a smart shopper. You know what I mean? Um, so I will page through. And again, I'm buy I'm probably going to actually do the buyout so that I lock it in so it's waiting for me to pick up. So right there is my breaking point. I don't want to go any higher than this 107. 
I actually want to back off because that's 107.43 and but I really don't want to spend a ton either so like here's a 50 pad and here's an 80 pad and a 60 pad let me go back to page one. Oh yeah and these are all higher so I'm probably gonna buy the 50 petter. Well Gerson lubricants used in a lot of stuff though so I might go shoot for the 80 80 petter like 400 of them and that's a lot but I don't care I stock up it's two percent under the monthly what the hell do I care you know so I zoom it up and I'm gonna buy it out and I accept it now if I was super desperate for an item I would probably pay for faster delivery but these days I'm so busy I'm hardly ever in game my people are probably pissed at me anyway because my stores are emptying so I'm just going to do the self pickup at no extra cost. And so boom, it's in my storage on Calypso. Like the next time I go to Calypso, which all of you know I planet hop like crazy when I am in game, I'm going to pick that stuff up. And the people on Arcadia that are trying to make money or they're trying to do a fast buck or whatever, they aren't getting it from me. I mean, they're just simply pricing it too high. And the Diana Mingot, same thing. I mean, there's nothing on Arcadia. So, of course, I'm going to go to Calypso because everybody puts their stuff on Calypso. And then I just got to figure out what the markup is. And it looks like 107 on the month for that, too. So, then I start looking and it's like, well, how much Diana Ingot do I want? And... Pretty much it's like one ingot per click on most of the blueprints I click. So if I can get my hands on, you know, like even the 20, the 30, you know, it really just depends. Like that's 119 ped. Mm, it's a, kind of a lot. I, a lot, not a lot. I mean, it's a great price. It's just a lot for me because I'm down to 350 ped. So yeah, I do the 20 for 80 ped because I have to buy within my means because I don't want to deposit and I have to wait for more shop sales. So anyway, that's kind of my thoughts on that. And that's why new players should not take small stacks to put on auction. If you don't have a stack of 20 or 30 of whatever you want to put on auction, it's probably not worth listing for the fee because you'll either have to put the markup too high or you'll end up any profit you would have gotten, you'll end up spending on the fee. So you're better off if you're a new player taking your assorted loot and finding someone who will just buy it for super cheap, nowhere near the markup, because you have five of this and three of that and four of this and ten of that. Well, then sell it all to someone for 103%. You're still getting more than TT. You're not paying an auction fee, and you're helping that person out, and they're helping you out, and everybody's happy. Or you could TT the stuff, but I don't recommend throwing stuff on auction when it's not worth it to throw it on auction because of the fee, because of whatever, the markup, and then you're just going to look greedy, whatever. And I didn't even show you the people's names because I'm nice. And they might not know any better. Wow, I'm really in mommy mode today. Whew, I need another drink of coffee. So, uh, let's see. And then the other thing I need to buy is residue. Ooh. I need to buy res that's a painful that's a painful purchase if I had the time I would make all my own residue <sighs> but time is money I don't have the time it's summer like I spent six hours on the river in a lazy river tube yesterday I mean in and out of course we got in and out but I'm sunburned I'm hungover but boy did I have fun <laughs> and I had sunblock on SPF 50 and I still burnt because I'm like white, pasty white. Yeah, with freckles. Oof, not a good combo. So, um, yeah, so what I do is go, go into the auction. I'm looking for residue. And I usually buy metal residue because I don't remember off the top of my head which ones will allow me to have energy residue and which ones will allow me to have metal residue, etc. And so yeah, that's what I'm looking for here. Now this one, okay, he's got nine, less than nine ped 
TT of metal residue. So he puts the bid at 101, which is actually not even that great of a price because it's such a small amount. Because the month is 101, so he's 101.13, and the week he's he basically listed it at the week. Not horrible, but why? And then with no buyout. So, oh my god, hold on to the edge of my seat. I might be able to place a bid and win nine ped worth of metal. No, I'm not wasting my time on this. And it's okay, there's two people that bid, so he must have started at like zero and they worked their way up. Whatever. I just think it's silly. So again, I go to Calypso. I really wish I could craft well on Calypso. I always have the best crafting luck on Arcadia and Rocktropia. If I try to craft on Calypso, I never do well. And I wish I did because it would be so much more convenient to just buy the shit I need and get it right away. But anyway. Now here is our 101.8 is the lowest buyout. Which is okay. 101.8 is still a little high. What do you do? I, re I remember paying like 212% for residue. Once upon a time before explosive projectile blueprints came about. Holy hell, like, I could not afford to craft anything because I couldn't afford the residue, and I was depositing all the time to cover it. And then the explosive projectiles came out, which basically killed crafting, with, ex with the exception of for people like me that have shops that need the items, because everybody started crafting those, and I was like, thank the gods, because now metal res is dirt cheap, and I love it. And I just have to find metal res I can afford to buy. I've got like 200 ped to spend. So it will look at my value. And look at that. 200. 200 ped TT. Ugh, 103%. 207. Oof. I don't know. I mean, the problem is, okay, the, the good thing is, yay, metal res is dirt cheap. The bad thing, people are listing it. At 10, 000, who the fuck has 10,000 ped? See, I'm swearing. You could tell I'm crispy today. I don't normally swear this much. Who the heck has 10,000 ped to blow on metal residue? Unless you're like a super uber high-end crafter, which they don't even really craft that much anymore because the prices on other stuff went up. I don't know. It just... This is where I wish I had an economics degree and because supply and demand and all that jazz, like, I, I understand the basic concepts, but I wish I knew more because I'm sure that I could find a way to make a lot more money in this game. Mm. But I do not have that economics degree. So I just have to, I mean, look at this, 10,000 10, ped, 10,000 ped, oh, 1,000 ped. Hey, that's so much better. 10,000 ped, 2,000 ped, oh, 1,000 ped, 2,000 ped. Yeah, so I have to go to where I'm actually paying a little more. And it's still dirt cheap compared to what I used to pay. And it's still dirt cheap, in my opinion, even at 103%. So I don't mind helping the market out a little just to get it to somewhere. I mean, 207 ped. That's it, you know? Oh, that's what I'm going to end up buying. And of course, I am not delivering it to myself. I am going and picking it up. Oh. But yeah, I wish I wish you people out there who were listing it for, you know, 10,000 ped of metal rest, just list it for like 100 ped, 200 ped. I know it's more in fees, I'm sorry. Or better yet, just sell it to me directly for 101%. I would love you for a long time. Long time $2, love you. Okay, anyway. <sighs> I guess that's the end of my discussion on this and the pricing and why it's frustrating to me because... Metal res is dirt cheap because of the explosive projectile blueprints. But the other things out there, the materials, have actually, have actually gone up because not as many people are mining and hunting because they're too busy clicking metal res or clicking explosive projectile blueprints. So, I mean, yeah, when Mindark released those blueprints, I really don't think they were thinking... If anything, the components for the explosive projectile blueprints, you should have to like mine or hunt for those. Because to buy them out of the TT machine, insanity. Insanity. Like, I don't understand what they're trying to do there. Um, they're trying to screw us. They're trying to make money because Mindark is greedy. But you would think they'd make more money if the components were easily lootable in mobs because the people would still hunt like crazy and, as a side effect, get these 
components that they could click this blueprint with or mine or whatever, you know, they could mine for it, whatever, as long as you got a lot of it, you know, then we wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to buy it out of the TT machine and it would still keep the hunting, mining, crafting cycle kind of, kind of even keel. Because right now I feel like it's skewed. I feel like it's like way out of balance. Um, yeah, they need to align the planets again, honestly. And, and you know, someone asked me, why do you love this game? Because I think it's kind of boring. Well, I love the game partly because I get to buy and sell things. I mean, even though I don't like to shop, I'm still a girl. So, you know, I'm like, ooh, someone bought my stuff. I'm so excited. You know, it just uh, makes me happy. And then the social aspect of the game, because I've met a lot of really nice people in the game, that some of them I've even met in real life. And I talk to them all the time on TeamSpeak or Mumble or, you know, whatever that other thing is called. I forget. So I guess, you know, there's a combination of things. And it really is like a grown-up RuneScape to me. Um... So yeah, there's a lot of reasons why I like this game, but I can tell you that I really wish people would do things differently, and not even necessarily for my benefit, but just for the game's benefit, so that more people could come in here and actually enjoy the play because they wouldn't feel like they were just throwing money out the mind dark window. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's all I got really for now. I hope that helps you a little, and if you have any questions, just PM me in game as usual. Feel free to subscribe, feel free to like, feel free to share to your favorite social media and get the word out there that some people like this game and actually like to talk about it. <laughs> and until then, have a great day. Hoff big and all that jazz. Mikhail out.